Hi guys, it's your girl B. Michelle coming at you again with another revamp to an old furniture piece that I had in my home. So if you want to see how I transformed this piece that I picked up from a yard sale that a friend of mine was having, I'll show you how I brighten up the look. So I started with some paint and I'm using some chalk paint that I picked up from Walmart. This is the same paint that I used in the chair DIY, also the mirror DIY. And it's just some chalk paint that I picked up from Walmart. And I'm starting on the bottom and I'm gonna work my way up to the top. So I'm just putting some um, light strokes of the white paint onto this um, table. I didn't sand it or anything. I just wiped it down clean made sure it was dry and I just started painting so now that I have the first coat I'm going in with another coat so I wanted to make sure it was covered completely and I'm like I said again I'm starting from the bottom and working my way up to the top and since this is the same paint uh, bottle that I used on those previous projects I actually ran out of paint you guys so I did get a full two coats on there but it actually needed a little bit more if you can see I'm not finished uh, painting the coats on here but if you can see here where it looks kind of spotchy or blotchy whatever you want to call it where you can see the brown kind of bleeding through that's actually how it was kind of looking on the finished result so I decided that I would go ahead and paint the top portion to make sure that it was fully covered. So I left the bottom alone and just went ahead and started painting the top because I knew I was running out of paint. And your girl B. Michelle was not getting out the house to go buy new paint. So I had to improvise. So I'm just paint, painting along and I'm gonna show you what I did to make up for the paint portion that was not filled in so as you can see I'm still painting I'm trying to use every bit of the paint so I covered it as much as possible the paint can was actually bone dry you guys so I painted as much as I could and like I said your girl was not getting back out to go and buy paint so and I was doing my lamps the same day that I, I painted this I was determined I was not going to the Dollar Tree and I was not going to Walmart to buy new items. So I just had to improvise. So um, once this is done, I went on to the next step. So I did not um, have the camera turned on when I was painting the drawers to show you guys how I painted the drawers. So I am so sorry, but the next step is using the Mod Podge and the glitter to make up for the paint that I did not have. So it was never my intentions to put Mod Podge all over the whole piece, but in the end, it's a fabulous result. My plan was to put Mod Podge on the drawers only and possibly maybe just the top, but I was tr still trying to decide on how I wanted to do it. So I was starting with the drawers and I was planning on just putting it on the inside. You see where the, um, that piece there that I just ran my hand across, that's the only place I really had intentions on putting the Mod Podge. So I was just trying to give it a blinged out look right in there. But you guys, since I didn't have enough paint, I had to do something else. So guys, you've guessed it, I had to Mod Podge and glitter the whole piece. So this is my application of the Mod Podge and the glitter mixture. So I'm just painting this on and it's gonna be over the entire piece. And I did have to go over it. Um, well, you don't necessarily have to go over it more than once. It just depends on how much glitter you want. Um, I wanted it to be kind of lightly glittered. In some spots, I may want it a little bit darker than others, but um, you know, it's all up to you. 
if you want it to be more glitter you just add more glitter to the Mod Podge if you want a light a lighter look add less glitter if you don't want glitter at all then don't add it so I just did this because I ran out of paint like I said I did not have intentions on doing the whole piece but it happened to be that way and I actually love the result so I'm gonna continue doing that and go on to the next step so yeah now you can see the specks of glitter because I've gone over it one time before so I'm just going in with a second coat and I'm just adding more glitter so this is how it's looking once all of the Mod Podge has been applied. It still needs to dry some. So I'm gonna go on to the next step, which is to add the beads around the trim of this drawer. So I'm going for a look, you know how the, the studs, you know how you'll see the furniture with the studs, the furniture um, nails. That's what they call them, the nails, I think. Furniture nails, I wanted to have that look and I did see a, another DIY one time when a lady was doing a sofa and she used um, those furniture nails but she had a hard time nailing them in and she cut the tips of the nails um, off and she hot glued the top portion. I thought about doing that but then I was like no that's too much work. So I'm going to use, you guessed it, the beads also known as the Mardi Gras beads and garland whatever you want to call it I call it beads garland whatever so it's gonna still give me that same kind of look it's not gonna be exactly like the nails are but it's still gonna give me a desired look so I'm just taking the hot glue and I'm just going around and this is how it looks you guys I just love it so I'm gonna take the hardware which this is the same hardware that came off and you guys I noticed it looked silver to me when I first started the project um, it actually looked silver to me but once it was painted and I put it against the uh, when I screwed it on here and I saw how it looked compared to those beads I was like uh, no that's not gonna work and I also added some embellishments to it. I was like, okay, I'm starting this project, but I don't have any new hardware. So I added some rhinestones to the tip and I put a little strip of bling wrap around the base of the um, hardware. So I'm showing you guys, and actually, since the color was off, it looked more pewter. I'm taking some nail polish which is in silver. It's kind of like a silver glittery kind of look. And this came from the Dollar Tree. I didn't buy this to do DIYs. I actually bought it to do my nails, but this came in handy. So I'm actually painting the knob itself to give it more of a silver chrome looking color instead of the pewter looking color because it just looked hideous against those really silver beads. So that's going to work for now, you guys. So now, you guys, I'm taking the bling wrap and I'm adding some bling down the legs of this table. Of course, you know, I had to add more bling. It just wouldn't be me if I didn't add bling. A girl got to have bling in her life. I mean, who doesn't like bling? And the moment I've been waiting for, the final result. I just love, 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 love this table, you guys. I love my lamps too, but I just love this table. I love the look of it. On the camera, it actually kind of looks like it's distressed. I'm not a big uh, fan of distressed furniture. It's okay on some pieces, but it's not actually my style, but this actually kind of has a distressed look to it, looking at it on the camera. And the texture of it, it's just, I just love it. I, I just love it, you guys. And the camera never really gives its due justice. And the camera doesn't pick up the beauty of what I see with my natural eyes, you guys. So you just gotta take my word for it. Or if you try this out on your own pieces at home, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So 
that's it you guys if you like the look of this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up be sure to share and leave me some comments you guys and if you're not already subscribed to my channel please do so what are you waiting for there's more DIYs to come so thanks for watching you guys and until next time bye love you guys